stocks our strategists feel are poised to deliver positive returns are featured now in their top stock picks of the week. A branded office products company and a computer networking company top this week's list of top stock picks. Steve Reitmeister, Brian Bolin going to fill us in on each one. Steve, you've got Echo Brands. That's the branded office products company. Yeah, on the surface, not uh, not that exciting of a concept. Well, office supplies, right? You're <laughs> kind of boring. And these are the folks who have the swing line stapler that got famous with uh, Office Space, uh, the uh, the movie. But uh, let, let me let me try and see if I can jazz up this story here for folks and, and appreciate. So you know, off the gate, Zach's ranked number one. Got to appreciate that mm -hmm. value A. Uh, so there's there's definitely a value story going on here. But but let me get down to the industry rank. It is in the top one percent of the industry. So why why is office supplies a boring, sleepy little industry like that doing so well? Well, the economy has been expanding for over eight years. The, um, the small business sentiment index is hitting the highest levels in uh, over a decade. Mm -hmm. And so people are in a good mood. They are expanding their businesses. They're hiring more people. When you need that, you need more office supplies. So that's kind of the underlying catalyst that is taking place here. And then if we can take a look specifically at the price and consensus chart, we can see there was kind of an inflection point here at the beginning of 2016. Uh, and then just earnings have uh, you know, tremendous beaten raises, estimates going higher, um, and indeed the price has come up, but here again, value score of uh, A, there's still a lot of juice left to squeeze out of this, uh, well, this orange. I was going to say lemon, <laughs> but, but it's not a lemon. This, 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 this is a, a better fruit than a lemon. Sweet, sweet, sweet orange. That's right. So uh, that's why I'm going with Echo Brand. Still a lot of staples left in the gun, apparently. There, there we go. <laughs> Brian, you've got uh, Extreme Networks. Now, you've talked about this company in the past. You've been pretty high on this company. Yeah, I, I really like this name, and, you know, I'm the opposite of Steve. I go for growth. I don't like value. <laughs> uh, you know, value is just this notion of what we all sure. think is right, but, you know, growth is, you know, there. It's what you really want sure. when you're the aggressive sort of investor that I uh, tend to be. Mm -hmm. You know, I like to swing for the fences. That causes a lot of strikeouts, you know, when you're swinging wildly. But if you, you know, try to manage your swing, you can uh, do pretty good. So we got a Zach's rank number one strong buy for Extreme Networks. We've got that A for the gro for the uh, growth and D for the value. So I like to see that divergence between, you know, that growth and value scores because it tells me the growth investors are in this name, the value investors aren't looking at it at all. And with the 29 times forward uh, PE. I mean, yes, it is a little bit rich, but uh, the idea is that it's getting bigger, it's getting stronger because of a couple acquisitions that it's made. Uh, it took, a, it bought the uh, networking business from uh, Brocade, which is uh, AVGO, mm -hmm. and then before that, there was a hundred million dollar deal for Avaya's uh, networking business. So they've uh, really done well there uh, in the acquisition space. We can see that the earnings estimates have been moving higher from 19 cents to 24 cents for this year. 31 cents to 36 cents for next year. Uh, at the bottom of this detailed earnings estimates page, we can see four straight beats of the Zex consensus estimate. And on the chart, we can see that extends out to seven straight beats. So seven quarters without a miss, Terry. That's almost two bucks. What else do you want? That's right. right. All right. Thank you both. Do either of you own these stocks? Uh, I own ACO. Okay. I own Extreme Networks in stocks under 10. All righty. Well, thank you. And uh, again, if you uh, go to Zacks.com, starting with our homepage, you can access a lot more information, not only on these two companies, but other stocks as well. Commentary, stock picks, stock picking strategies. It's all there for you on Zacks.com. With Steve and Brian, I'm Terry Ruffalo.